Good day YouTube. Today we're just taking a bit of a quick fun look at uh, Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Edition on the left hand side. So this is actually currently in beta just so you know. Versus Lubuntu 22.04 on the right hand side. Now perhaps considered a bit of an apples to oranges video but um, they are both Linux. They are both running on uh, Ubuntu as its backend, are both running also on the Ubuntu 22.04 long-term service release on the backend. But uh, Lubuntu is more uh, designed for, I guess, being more a lightweight system there. L stands for light, although technically it does stand for the LXQT framework uh, environment there for the desktop environment. But without further ado, we'll have a look here. So we've got that, and on the left-hand side, we've got the, the Cinnamon desktop environment, which I may have mentioned there. Now, uh, we can the Cinnamon desktop environment is is known to be a bit more liked a bit more loved by the community there just just a nice beautiful clean and crisp look and feel you got your categorizations of apps and your search menu there got a bit of a uh, ooh, get rid of that uh, uh, just a simple uh, context menu there as well whereas on the right hand side certainly a lot more L or lightweight in comparison there so uh, the, what I do like is you've got your categorizations there as well and you've got a search menu which is really good uh, quite a while ago or a short while ago at least Lubuntu didn't have that and it's really important for any operating system some modern operating system uh, dist distros don't have that they run on XFCE and it just really irks me that I have to look through all these sections to find the app that I want but Lubuntu has it Linux Mint has it, so fantastic, that's great, quite the win. Go for a right hand click and we'll see, we've got a few options here, create, but we don't actually have a uh, terminal option now, it's a bit, bit of a shame, but we do on Linux Mint, so something to bear in mind. Let's have a look at the file manager, just to get a bit more of a look and feel of the the, the distro, distros here as well. On the left hand side we have the Nemo file manager there, so nice beautiful mid-weight file manager, right click, open terminal again. Nice green color accents and tones in line with the Linux Mint uh, look and feel, uh, Mint of course. On the right hand side, a little bit more simplified the way that this one uh, is here. So this is the, the PC Man FM, so PC Man File Manager dash QT. Now it's, it's actually technically a little bit more colorful. It's in colors that I desire more, blue, but that's just a personal opinion. Right click, we don't have the uh, the opening terminal option, which is a uh, Really annoying. Uh, we can we can always open a terminal a different way, but sometimes you just want to open it in the visual folder you're in, just to just run a real quick command. So that's a bit of a shame there. Uh, sometimes with this stuff, uh, we we drag and drop. I found it wasn't as easy or clean to do. Oh yeah, so I do that. Then it asks me to copy or move here. I just want to move it there if I'm, if I'm dragging and dropping. So a little bit harder, a little bit more annoying. I wouldn't say harder, but not as easy. But I mean, that's what you get because we'll jump into the back end and we'll see what's going on here. So basically, uh, first of all, they are running on the same basic kernel, the 5.15 kernel, because they do have the same back end there, as mentioned before. Uh, but let's have a look, uh, I guess, last but not least, and take this with a bit of a grain of salt, the RAM usage on boot up. So this is where a story really gets told for the, the case for Lubuntu. So basically we have uh, 689 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint there. On the right hand side for Lubuntu, 377 megabytes of RAM. Don't want to say exactly half the amount or double the amount of RAM, but certainly almost there, a great deal less for Lubuntu. So you're gonna to want to use this on an old netbook, laptop, notebook, MacBook, and the rest. So something that's uh, yeah, a little bit of older hardware for sure. Especially if you're only gonna use it for just some sort of a simple um, uh, browser of sorts. In fact, I might start recommending this for the few people out there that uh, sometimes ask me, yo, Jazzy, well, you know, I've got an old laptop. I just wanna use it for basic, you know, web browsing, YouTube, that kind of thing. I might actually start to say Lubuntu because we're dealing with infinitesimal amounts of RAM, aren't we really? But that's about it guys, so thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.